green is where the trees are going to grow. Graciela, can, can we have people put their um, mute on? Because otherwise I, I don't see you. Oh yeah, please. Please do that. Everybody mute. But first, we gotta sing happy birthday to Judy. Yes, happy uh, birthday, Judy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Judy. Da, 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 da. Happy happy birthday, birthday, Judy. Guys, thank you. Okay. I don't know the birthday. <laughs> okay, so three things we're doing. Uh, ah, can you see me? Yeah? Yeah, could you just t say the colors again? Okay, so yellow, green, and blue. Blue is the street. You see it's this road going that way because she's going someplace. Got it? The green goes here and here, and the yellow is the sky. So we're going to, what we're going to do is before we lose, I hope we don't lose the little person, you know, so you're going to draw around it. And the last thing we're going to do is paint the person. Now, um, Julie, you have a lot to do around it, okay? But you just go around it, no problem. Who's doing umbrellas? Uh, like three, four people, huh? Yeah, okay. So let's find your yellow, please. Any yellow you like? It's a very bright yellow, okay? And uh, you can look at me first. No need to take too much out of the tube. And all we're going to do, put a little bit of water on the yellow. And we're just going to go around our subject, whatever it is. And it's the first part of the painting, the top. That's the sky. Very simple, please. Don't take forever putting the yellow. All you're doing is covering like this. Okay, so start painting yellow, please. It's already done, you can sign. That's what you see in a modern art museum. And then you call it uh, yellow fever, something weird. Okay. Let's see, around the girl. So if you have see-through things and you have the cable going, you go over the cable, no problem. Okay, paint all over and around the little kid. This is what I want you to do. Remember there are some trees going here. The trees grow in a funnel kind of way, they grow smaller, taller, taller, like that in an angle. So in between the one, two, and three trees, there's going to be some yellow going down in an angle. And yellow going down, that's it. Which is this. That's between the trees because the trees give you a shadow. Do the corners because the yellow will be the, the end part of it. Okay. While you do that, I'm bringing my glass of water. Okay. And clean your brush and be ready for the green, which is going to be a minty green. This one is a aqua green. Okay, not too much because we don't need too much, okay? So let me bring my aguita and we continue.
Okay, so we're ready now for the minty green. Graciela, I apologize. How do we make that minty green if we don't have it? Uh, just green and yellow. Green and yellow, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Any green. I just chose that one because I, I liked it today, but it can be any green, lighter green. I know what to give you for your birthday. Ha ha, minty green. <laughs> okay, so let's put it in mute again. And uh, I'm going to clean my brush. I am pl I'm applying with something flat so it's quicker. And I am using the one with an angle because it's kind of easier. So here's my minty green. It's kind of, kind of uh, you know. So you go around the girl or whatever you're painting and just put it like that. There's a little round, this round kind of part to it. It's just like it goes like an S kind of like that. It's kind of rounded. It's like a bank of higher and higher area. If some people don't have the person, of course you have to do the yellow and all the green here and all that. And green here goes kind of this way. Finish the corner with green. I want to put a little bit here. If it mixes with the yellow, it gives you a nice little green. So just go towards the subject you're painting. And that's it. Yeah. Start looking for a nice blue, deep blue. It can be ultramarine blue. I'm using cobalt blue, which is a nice little blue for the umbrella in my case. Yeah. So blue is good to go on the floor. No need to wash the brush too much because blue takes over. Very little, but dark. And uh, put some water on your blue. And I'm going to wait a second until everybody catches up a little bit. I want it flowy. That's the trick. Make it flowy. Make it that, you know, works. Okay, now I go around the person, on, around the jeans. There's an opening in between the legs, for example, and around. And I go kind of in like a U shape here, like this. U, 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 I go like that, smileys. Okay, you can do it light first, that way you know. Mine, I wanna do it a little bit on the blurry side when I'm painting the woman, it's gonna be kind of strokey. And here, I just apply the blue on the floor, it can be deep because we will put some um, lighter colors on top. The, the secret is to cover the shape that you're painting, making sure you already have the shape. Figure is this out. ultramarine? Ultramarine? Mine, mine is cobalt. Oh, cobalt. But any dark blue will do. It's going to be the blue for my, my umbrella, yeah? So whoever is painting the umbrella, you have to go and create one and two and here and just go like this, okay? And the next one here, that's the darker part of the umbrella. And there's another one down there and another one down there. Going down. So I wonder if uh, 
Let's see who joined us later. Wendy, Julie, Stephanie, Renee, Leslie, and Judy. Okay, so I guess um, Susan thought it was too much, too bad. Okay. You see, it looks difficult, but it's not, you know? Sometimes we get overwhelmed in our heads, but it's easy. Next project, um, well, I'll tell you later about next Friday. It's really exciting because we're using a different stroke, which is a rectangular, long, colorful stroke. So everything is like a shape on rectangular lines. So it's going to be cool. Graciela? Yeah. My, my paint isn't absorbing onto the canvas, so do I just uh, blow dry? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like a watercolor, which is odd, but it might be okay. You can always go back and put more color. Yeah. Okay. Because it's layering. That means it's greasy. Sometimes it's good to wash the canvas, believe it or not. Did you buy That's many like that from the same packet? I thought, I, I mean, I, wa I washed it, but for some reason it's just not absorbing. Oh. Yeah, so. dry it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes they use um, water, um, not water-based paint to prime the ca uh, canvas, which repels the acrylic. But it gives it a nice little duty. It's going to give her a little breaking into it. Like, it's going to be cool. You can never give me bad news with paintings, by the way. Okay. So, ready to draw, we're going to find this baby here, which is a round guy with a tip. You look at me first, and then we draw. We're going to use the blue, okay? The blue that we have chosen. I make it watery. I don't want it too dark, please. Eyes on me. We're going to find the trees, okay? The first tree is thick and they get thinner as thinner as we go. Okay, so my first tree is here. It's on the blue part, but it starts kind of here and it goes right here. This is my first tree and it has a trunk and it has a trunk and it has a trunk like that. Judy, in your case, you're going to have one here because it's holding the swing, okay? And not Julie, not Judy, sorry. <laughs> so this is my first one. The second one starts at the same height. All of them start at the same height, but they get smaller. Not as thick, slender, and they go high, high little thing, here, there, okay? The trick was is that all of them started at right here and went down, down, down. That makes it look, and here, they don't go all the same to the same uh, length here. They just go on an angle. S stops here, stops there. One, this one is skinny guy. In the case of uh, Stephanie, she's painting her daughter walking on Central Park where she's right now in New York. So try to tailor your painting to something that, um, you know, if you're walking in uh, San Francisco or something. Okay, so this tree is only one and it's a taller guy. In your case, um, Julie, it has to be a little bit strong, like a big, thick thing here. So when he's swinging, it makes sense that he's holding the kid. Okay?
and for you, uh, Leslie, is fine. You just need one tree here, one tree in there, because you're going to have a cord going down and down, and the kids here. The little feet are floating. Yeah? Okay. You're not painting any cords yet of any kind. It's just the trees. This one can go like that. So Graciela, you're saying I should just do two trees. Um, yeah, you have a lot of stuff going on. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. You will have a lot of these craziness going on, which is the fun part of the, the painting. This is the moment you're going to use the blue and trace your painting in blue. All the subjects, so we don't lose it when we start painting all that. So here's the hair for her. It's okay, whatever color, if you're blonde, well, you should do blonde. But right now we're going to do blue, so we don't lose the shape that we have. If you have the little kid, you go around the hat, around everything. You can do the inside later. We're just doing the outer edge, so we don't lose it when we're putting all the leaves going around. Now I know where my girl is. She's not going away. This is important, this little guy on the umbrella, if you're doing the umbrella. And do some little end tips here. They come out. Okay? So I let you draw your subject. Go around it. In your case, uh, Leslie, these trees are, are a little thick. Okay? That's all. Not too much. Think about something you wear. In the case of uh, Stephanie, she put leggings on the girl because she's a young girl. Mine will have cargo pants with 10 packets because, <laughs> pockets because I like to carry everything on and no purse. The last thing we're going to do is our subject. Do you do the seam in the coat on the bottom or no? Yeah, whatever, you know, I just went around so I don't, when I'm doing this, yeah, like the basic, do what I did. Um, Graciela, just <clears throat> rule of thumb, do you usually do the subject, if it's a person or an animal or whatever, last or d depends on the painting? Because I have a group with many people, this is the easiest way to do it everybody at once. But usually you do the background and go to sleep and then you put it on top, you trace it on top of the entire background. That way it looks natural. Right. Yeah. Yeah. When you, um, when you go around, it's hard to continue the stroke and make it look like, um, you know, it was on the background. But because it's, this is so busy, this is kind of a uh, Van Gogh kind of style painting, everything goes. Okay, are we ready? Or are you still painting your baby? One more minute. Whipping the whip in one minute. By the way, we're recording this. If you want it, please ask for it. The other one was on YouTube the last Fridays. So you can paint it and finish it. And don't forget to put like, like, like.
Okay, time to start showing off. Who wants to show me something? Oh, I can't wait to see the guy. Oh, my goodness. Cute. Leslie, what you have in there? How big is going to be yours? Perfect. Nice. Renee, can you show us? Oh, that's awesome. I love the umbrella and the trees. They're so fun. It's been <laughs> uh, Steph, how's the, your daughter? Let me see. Nice too. Oh, the blue road. Perfect. And the umbrella is awesome too. Uh, Wendy, she's busy. Okay. And uh, Judy. Let me see. Oh my God, everybody's doing excellent. Love it. Perfect. Okay. So we will get, we will forget about the, the subject. Now that we know what the subject is, we're not going to erase it. It's finally there. So now we're going to start uh, putting the, <clears throat> sorry, we're going to do the sky. So I need you to find a burgundy color. And how do you make burgundy? Brown and red. Okay. so happy and I have it. Start making a list of colors you don't have somewhere. Like, oh, she asked for burgundy. I don't have it. I need to buy it. Oh, she wanted aqua. Okay. So Are you talking to me? Just kidding. <laughs> no, I have a few people that I know only the black colors, by the way. So, right here. Did you put it on your wish list? Yeah. I cannot hear you. Can you either move the paintings to the left or, it, I'm so sorry, I'm such a spaz. Can someone tell me how I can get rid of my the photo of me in the upper right on Zoom? And just okay. the painting alone? Just go to gallery view, gallery okay. view. Or speaker, or speaker view. It is on the right corner all the way up you see mine says, my, no mine says leave uh no over the blue button when you see people there's a blue arrow are you on a on a ipad no i'm on my phone oh yeah yeah that might be why and That's what is it that you don't see what do you want to see a oh i don't see the Thank you. I don't see the upper right of the tree. The, oh. On the right hand side, the upper right of the darker brownish reddish tree. Oh, I can't because see that. it's an arrow. Yeah. yeah. Um, Can you move it to the left a little? To the left. Perfect. Perfect. Can you do that if it's not too upsetting? Thank no, you. Oh, that's perfect. The, okay. Think... That's perfect. Thank you so much. Ooh, that was an easy fix. Okay, burgundy, everybody. So we're going to go back to the tree now. In the center of the tree, leave a border of green, both edges. Okay, so what did I do? I show you. The burgundy is in the center of that and leaving me a border of green in both edges, okay? That gives it a 3D effect. So here in the center of my branch going up, now I am more creative. Now I go in the center of the branch. I wiggle it up a little bit. They kind of tend to go up that way. Okay, in the center of my tree, going up again, going that. But there's no more here. I don't have any of that going on. It's just a small little guy here and it goes down this way. Now, please, here, you make it look like thicker, bigger branch. That's it. On the bottom, should be a little bit thicker. 
and that's it. So do that for now. Oh, so Graciela, I don't have burgundy, but so shall I mix like like magenta and burnt sienna and um, purple or something? Well, no, brown and red. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, thanks. okay, thanks. That's easier. Okay, and the same with the same tree here. You go in the center of the tree and then it gets bigger and bigger and stops there. And it has a branch here and a branch there, and they just go up, opening, going that way. My trees look like cactuses. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, they're cute. I saw them. They're really cute. That's character, you know? I like that. So once you have those three guys or whatever trees you have, notice that there is a dark L here, and not L, but something that goes like this, boom. This area, everybody looks at me, this area here is dark. This area here is gonna be dark, okay? How do I do that? This is the moment you're gonna start drawing little guys, happy guys going around. So they're going, start first with this corner. They're little, Happy little fellows going straight that way. And then in the center, disappearing, disappearing. Just like that. Go right there. They can be in different hues. You can make it darker, lighter, more watery, less watery. Okay, so let's do that. The bottom ones are a little bit smaller and they're like little ewes flying around. Flying around. And you can put one flying on top of the umbrella, another one, another one, another one. Okay, so I'm going to get it really close. We want that wing to have movement. So look at that. And what is going to be important is keeping kind of the same stroke style, not the direction, but the style of your stroke. This is the same color, right? Yeah. It's a red brown. And remember, you can go back later when we're done and retrace everything, make it richer. It is too plain. Yeah. I'm not going to do the these leaves yet, the ones flying everywhere. We're just going to do the background and then we start putting things around. If you notice the left part of it also is dark. So basically it's like an U of darkness going like this. So you have to do the same here. Everybody looks at me. This is the U of darkness going like that. So if you have nothing, you have to put dark here going in a U style. So little happy fellows. Going slower, lay down, down, and then behind her. But they're on top. They're not on the bottom. They're on the top of the trees. The trees are here. Keep that look. And a couple on top of the umbrella, flying around, little rascals.
Yeah. That would be nice if it was birds or butterflies all over. Ready to move or should I wait? One more minute. <laughs> Sorry. One minute. Isn't that looking cool already? Oh, yeah. Um, I want to see um, because she has the. Julie, can I see what you're up to there? Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah. Okay. So put more here, please. This has to be covered, this area, because we're under the, the trees. Okay. He is swinging under a canopy of trees. It's not an open air. What makes it cool is that you're under all those big bushy trees. Yeah. I hope Wendy's painting too. <laughs> Where'd you find the subject or did you just, did you just draw it? I, I was looking, I always wanted to do the two people kissing on the back, but it's kind of cheesy. So, no. I, you know what I mean? There's so, like those trees going around over the couple walking on the street. Mm -hmm. So I found the girl with the umbrella and then I thought, why don't we do people we like or a pet or something? Uh, no, it's great. <clears throat> okay, so. Graciela, sh should I fill mine in more? Let me see. Oh, yeah, go for it. Lots of more. Oh, they're so okay. cute. They look like little hearts. And, uh, Graciela, I never, sorry to cut, cut you off. Were you done talking? Yeah. I didn't put the um, swing strings. Should that have gone in? No, that's that's at the end. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Uh, do you know where they are? Yes, I know where they are. So find them now because they're going to get lost. Yeah, do it. I know where they are. Uh, later, we're going to be putting a lot of stuff on top and you may not see it. So yeah, do it. What, where are they? I'm sorry. Here, she still has a swing. Oh. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I don't see a swing. It's not to get lost, so she needs to put it right now. And Perfect. the way to do it is with a, a ruler. With the ruler. And a pencil, a felt pen. Do you have one? Uh, I can grab one. Yeah. See, like a marker. Because it doesn't really matter if it's acrylic or not. If you need to make a straight line, you use a marker, okay? Yeah. Okay, Steph, how are you doing? Can I see your trees? I want to make sure everybody has. Oh, wow, she's going to love that one. Yay. Perfect. Ooh, cool, Rene. <laughs> nice big leaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Almost too big. Like the cactus. She's in Canada. <laughs> I'm from Washington. <laughs> oh, you're in Washington. Okay. Okay. So I think everybody has good leaves and good stuff going on. We're ready to move to the next color. Um, I don't want to put anything on the bottom yet of the leaves because I don't want to confuse the drawing. So now the next color will be orange. Who has orange? So find a very loud orange. Here it is. That's like giant's orange. Oh, I love your cute little bottle. You don't need that much, okay? Just take a tiny bit, by the way. And the orange. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. 
because you had burgundy on your brush, make sure it's clean. Otherwise, it makes a, another burgundy and you don't want that. Now you go and put the leaves in between. Happy, happy, happy leaves. Doesn't really matter. Sing a song. Go around. Go around. I'm, I'm, oh uh, shit. What happened? Oh, I did. How do you make orange? Sorry. Orange is yellow and red. Sorry. Uh, pardon me. No problem. Orange and red. And some of those leaves are big. Some of them are small. Some of them are going down on the ground here. This is the moment to put a few going around the tree, like tiny guys. Okay. And this is the one that closes the top, small little guys crossing. Okay. They cross. And Renee. These are smaller. Okay. Got it. Thanks. <laughs> These are the cute ones that are going around. And you can you make sure they go on top of the subject, too. You know, the umbrella, the tree. It's okay to cut the, the tree a little bit. Okay, and you see I'm putting little guys dripping, 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 a little guy going, little guy going. Later we put them all over the ground. Right now, I don't want to confuse the painting too much. Just make sure that you're rich on this color on the corner, on the corner, and that this is crossing across. And some of them are hitting the umbrella or the kid, you know? Your kid can have a few on the, on the path because he's being enjoying that wind, you know, enjoying the, the leaves going all over. And that's something you do later, Leslie, after you paste the kids, you put a few leaves on, on top of the kids, one on the, you know, knee or something. Yeah. On the head, one cute one on the head. Always pick the light color to dark. The light is in the background, and then you put the dark little tones, yeah? So now we need a pink. So pink is white and red, a crimson red or just red. Make sure, Steph, you have little leaves on top. They get smaller as they go farther. So for the ones that are ready, I need you to find a pink. Which is white and red. Um, I recommend if you don't want to start getting too many canvases at home to buy this pad that which is i think is 10 bucks it has 10 pages Actually, sometimes you can find it for seven dollars and it's a canvas pad and you just paint on the canvas pad on top of a tray or a surface 
it's very easy to frame because it's so thin you can buy any frame or a picture and you can frame it and gift it Just or save moment. it uh, sorry sorry is talking to me I don't know what so canvas pads are good don't don't take any room and it can be a practice or a big one But if you're working on if you're working on a canvas pad, do you ever find yourself framing that that you like the piece? Yes. Oh, uh -huh. okay. You can frame it in a very inexpensive frame. Mm. They have those sizes already made, pre-made, you know, pre-made. Um, put tape around, and then you peel it, and it ends up with a nice little border. Yeah, I gave a couple away, uh, the eight by 10 in the frame, and you can't find it, you have to just paint the frame. You can't really find a frame for it, so that's a better idea. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Or you can cut the, if you don't have, let's say the pad is a weird size, you can cut the, the to eight by 10 or whatever size frames are made. And uh, it's super easy. And you can put a glass or no glass if you want. <clears throat> any black frame or anything. It's very inexpensive. Okay, ready for pink. Let's do it. Uh, if I can find my pink, what happened to it? Oh, here it is. So I want contrast. I want something loud. Okay. But you can the, you can create anything you want. A little bit, not too much. Remember, I am I don't like to spend. And the whole painting we're doing it with this baby, okay? With this kind of brush, okay? So I got my pink out, and now I just going around again and another happy smile. If you don't see it too much, you can put a tiny bit of white on the pink so you see it more. Now remember, as you go here, the tiny little guys. Okay, they're small. It gets richer on the top. Touch the umbrella, go for it because these guys are wild and they're going in there. There are many colors going on top of these leaves, okay? Don't leave me an aura of yellow around. Try to break it through. Because it looks funny if it's so, you know, if the leaves are not crossing. And here again, pink. Draw a couple, you know, a few are on the floor coming down, touching the girl or the kid. For you, um, Leslie, your trees should go one here and one there. And that's it. I want to see what you have, Leslie. <laughs> She's smiling. <laughs> yes. Looking good, Leslie. Uh huh. And later, when you put the kids, you know if you, the trees need to be thicker or not, or whatever. You can tailor more to whatever need. Okay. Could you just um, summarize where you put the pink? Sorry. The, the same place that we were. So, everywhere. Okay. Thank and you. a few little guys going on towards the person. And kind of within the, within the orange a little bit. Yeah, blending with the orange. They crisscross, you know, they can go in different directions. The next color coming up, so you can start looking for it, is an okra which is a yellow, brown, kind of yellow. It's 
something yellow occurred right here, so you know. Okay. Julie, did the cables come out okay? Yeah? Oh, good. This is in the future. If somebody has a baby or you can put the mom with the stroller and you give them the, the gift, you know what I mean? Something. Or a little kid on a tricycle, just the shape. If you if you want to give it to a little kid or with the colors of their room or it's just shapes. Um, before we put the yellow ochre, I want to find the lila violet color. I think it's better to put that one first. So violet. Okay. That's the next color we're going to use. What violet? Violet or purple with white. And we're holding off on okra? Yeah, because I decided that okra is going to get lost if we don't put the violet first. Now, the violet, since you already have pink on your brush, it's fine. It will look cute. Here's my violet. It goes also in there make sure to put a little bit of white on it it's a little bit too dark so you want it to have a contrast okay so little violet but this time not too much here and there because it's very light tiny not so thick and there's some violet little trees going down on the back so you go one here one there and one there and oh one this there. is violet and white right yeah oh sorry so there's some in the background here trees okay and they go all the way down it's kind of a shadow and on this side, on the top, happy little violet strokes. I put the white because it just didn't show. Go on top of the umbrella once in a while. Violet's like the magical. He made it color really that, pop. that pops. Yeah, he made it really cool. And we haven't done the bottom, bottom part. We're just doing the top, basically. Yeah, you can go on top of your big leaves and kind of make those little guys. Gives it a lot of nice light. Wow. Yep, I see it. Here it is. Remember the trees behind that? And we're going to use, before it dries up too much, the violet. I want you to put it 
on the green. Going down. You see this? It really tones down the green and gives it a nice little pass. So here on the green, going down, little, little patches. On the green, going down, making a border, going like this. Because the border, if you notice, is like a U here. Goes like this. Goes round here. So I want to show you the floor. The floor has that roundness to it. Like a path. With the light light lavender. Going on top of the green. I gotta put more of the green lavender in there. Excuse me, my lavender on top of the green. Make sure when you touch the border, you just paint the border and the edges. And before we put the okra, I think I need to put more green on the trees now. So we go back to the aqua green that we made. Before we put the okra. My aqua green is here. Everybody looks at me, please. Aqua green. And there's a dark you here. You see that? It's like smiley. Goes here corner to corner. So look at me. So on the bottom of the tree there's some green leaves going under and up. Under only on the edge. Okay? Go for it. Green, aqua green. We're starting to make the border darker, this border. We leave the center yellow. Border, that's the green. Can you bring your painting closer? Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to put my green one second. A few of them drip before I forget. Okay. See that? is starting to mix okay on top make sure you don't have a white place anywhere we're starting to put color Graciela, how many times have you drank tea and put your um, your brush in your cup of tea? <laughs> I, a lot, too much. <laughs> so I decided to put it on a different container, like the this. Uh, do I have it here? No, in a in a therm. That way I don't 
do that anymore. That same green, we're going to start now putting leaves on the yellow part that we have. So you see there is a lot of green going this way. Then we put blue on top of that, but the green goes down and down here also, the aqua green. Yeah, I'm kind of, um, Graciela, I'm kind of losing, uh, falling behind. Did you add green? Was that the last thing you added? Uh, the last one was green on the top. Oh, just the top? Yeah. So in order, to, so my advice is don't try to do the whole thing at once. Yeah. In one corner and then you know. Oh, okay. Move forward. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, what color green was it? I'm sorry. The aqua green we started with. It's oh. not on the floor. Okay. So it's a new, make an new kind of thing. Leave this new. yellow. Okay, new. Okay. Yeah, because the light is in there. With the same aqua green, very watered down. Now you have to put little tiny leaves here. So just do one corner because the other corner is the same way. And that way you don't rush. Okay. And just go down here. You have to put little guys going down into the path. Little guys going down. You do half a painting, <laughs> basically. I would advise you to do this half. This one that has more of the details. And here. Just little guys. This is the moment to make all these green little details here. If you don't have it, make sure it touches the yellow. It goes all the way to the yellow sky. You can just poke it here if you don't have it. And polish the corner. It's amazing you can get lost in the leaves here. <laughs> yeah, we can't do leaves forever. So we don't need to do that today, all of them right now, otherwise we don't finish it. So uh, now it's time to put that famous ochre color that goes on the border of that U. On the border of the U here, on the border here, Okay, everybody saw where that ochre color goes? Yeah, okay. So let's get the ochre going. No need too much. Put a tiny bit of white because it's so dark you won't see it. So ochre with a tiny bit of white. 
it makes it kind of a my brush had a little bit of blue so mine is going to be a little bit on the greenish ochre okay and as I said only on the border here once in a while is you barely notice it and on the center the little, little guys it tones down the sky a little bit yeah I need to put more color because mine is like you don't see it and here on the hair on the umbrella it's just a little touch of lightness and they go on the green this time they go down only on the green little guys going down I'm going to get closer in a second they go down into the path And they go like that. So I'm going to really close so you see what I did. You see that, everybody? I put the ochre going down where the green was. Okay? Where the green was, ochre goes down. You can put a few going down here and there. And on the other side, also on the green, he goes down, tiny little guys. Goes into the floor, but I stop on the floor. I just go like a curved entrance in there. Leslie, what are you doing on this part here? Let me see. Nothing. So can I see what you have? So, yeah, so when you have the kids, it's, it's going to be on the background. You can diffuse it later a little bit more. Yeah. So, this goes here. Try to make it round a little bit here. Later, we're going to go with the yellow and create light in there. So I wouldn't worry too much about being perfect because it's going to have a lot of little specks of things. So, Graciela, mine looks like, um, you know, it's got these two bold, round things on the sides. How do I flatten it? Show me with your pencil, with your brush. This, I mean. Yeah, so did you put ochre in there? Yeah, maybe more. What happens is you have nothing on the back. Okay. We have a beeping car, okay. Yeah. So you, you only have yellow here, so later we're going to put a lot of leaves in there. Going. That will make it richer. Into the green. You have to put a lot of leaves going into the green, yeah? Okay, so the next color will be uh, baby blue. The blue that the shirt is going to have is light blue. So it's ultramarine with white. Or if you already have it, like I do, we need a light blue. You see that? A light blue. If not, it's just blue and white. Okay. 
So eyes on me, everybody. You can find your, make sure your brush is clean because it creates a green. Uh, blah. So here's your baby blue. You're going to cover the simple part of your umbrella. Okay. Mine got a little bit dirty because it was, had some red in there. Okay. So do that to your umbrella, please. And for the ones that don't have an umbrella, you need to start putting some blue leaves around, but not that many. A few going around, okay? I tend to go to the left when they are here and to go to the right when they're here, kind of. But if you already have a special way of doing it, go for it. And these ones are falling around in between the yellow. In between the yellow, the baby blue is coming down. And Leslie, this is when you put more. Your trees are a little bit not too dense. They're a little bit um, spare. You know, they need a little bit more later. You put more color. But you can do that once you put the kids in there. Then you know how rich you want it or not. So you see that blue toned down a little bit the, uh, the painting? See that? I put it in between the yellows here. In this area, you see the yellow? You need some of that blue going in there. Little guys, little guys. And they can go, you see I touch my tree. That's what makes it cool. Over the trees, in between, there's some leaves in there. So that makes it, they're, they're flowing in front of the tree. Don't leave empty uh, train trucks. You just need a little bit. And they're dropping basically into the green. So this mutes that green a little bit and just go there in between the yellow and the green. A little bit of blue looks good. And I'm going to give you a minute to do that. We will need more light bloom for the floor. So this light blue, everybody looks at me. So because you're painting the light blue, everybody please look at me. You see there is some light in between the trunks of the tree. You see there's a trunk, a trunk, a trunk. <clears throat> so the trunk of the tree has a shadow. The shadow is coming down. So wherever you have the yellow going, okay? So you're going to put the light blue. So here's light blue. If it doesn't show too much, you put a little bit of white on it. There's one. In between the three, there's another light color. In between, I'm creating these shadows of the light coming through.
Later we go with uh, dark blue and put it back in there. So you have, that was the light blue, the, the light blue going in there. And Leslie, on the back, you just go smaller smiley. It's going like that, okay? The same for the swing or whatever is happening on the back. Can I see the, the little boy, uh, Julie? Let me see. Very nice. Ooh. <laughs> cool. It's time to take the black out. You can use paints gray if you're afraid of black, which is a black with blue. But I think a little bit of black will work on this painting because some of you have black hair or dark hair or black clothing, like the jeans or a black coat. Yep, black hair. So let's take the black out. Not that much, please. Graciela, can I ask you a question while you're doing that? Yeah. Um, I apologize. So, um, do you, whenever you paint, you always go light to dark. Uh, on this case, I went. Uh, the background is always light, mm -hmm. and then you put the dark colors because we're painting everything at once. But usually. Um, with acrylic, it doesn't really matter at all because acrylic covers the, the color very well. But in oils, it's always light to dark, always. Well, uh, 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 what would have happened, for example, if you had painted the whole canvas yellow and started from that? That would be beautiful because you pick in between, you put blues in between. You see there is yellow here and here, yeah? Now there is mm -hmm. no yellow on the blue, but when it has to be completely dry, otherwise it becomes green. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a nice thing to do. Okay, so I have my black here. Clean your brush. I need everybody to look at me, please. You can put a tiny bit of blue on that black so it's not so dark. I did that here. It's kind of a grayish, bluish. And now you go to your tree, to the base, and you make it dark. And then you slowly drag it down, touching, 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 until you touch the ground. And you create this little path here. So you go on the base of your tree, and then going down, it's a shadow. Now remember, this goes in a triangle like that. So you gotta stop here, here, here. It's a short, they get shorter as they go farther and smaller. Yeah? And for this big guy here, paint it front trick and they go down, down, down. Little tiny strokes. And that's it. On the bottom of every tree you have. Okay. Here it is. A little lot of light strokes make the bottom dark.
I apologize. I, I, and, and could you just redo what you did on the left tree? Sorry. Yeah. So on the bottom of the tree, I painted dark. And then I went down okay. like that. Remember, this is a triangle going this way. Oops, I painted by mistake. Your road is going aiming that way. The trees have a place where they start. One, you see right here, this is the dark part of my tree, and right here. So with the same black or paints gray or black blue that you created, you're going to go to where the tree, eyes on me everybody, the tree is here, I just put a little bit of black in there and a little bit of black going down, but not too much. And then a few leaves of black towards the right, just in between, just in between, just a little bit. And on the bottom of this guy, I can put a few on top of the umbrella. And remember, you can go back and put all the colors on top of that again. And that will look amazing. The more layers it has. The same thing you do all over again and it looks really nice. And here on this baby, on top, a little bit of dark on top because that's where the tree was. And here, a few flying on top of the umbrella. Later, we put all that stuff around the girl. That black, it really gave the depth and the formation of things. She put a lot of little things and around. I wanna keep mine a little bit cleaner, not so busy, but you can put more if you want, more stuff on the back, more little strokes, more, you know, if you want another tree here, you can put another one there, you know, something there if you want. Okay. So this is the moment to put, since we have the black in our hands, there is a little part of the umbrella here coming out. You just go like that. You see the umbrella thing? Boom, right there. Okay. So put the umbrella little stick thing. The stick usually goes like that. So you have to figure it out where is she holding it? Is she holding it that way, that way, that way? So my girl has leggings. So I'm just going to go with the dark in one part of the legging and I leave some light. But because it's a leg, it's best if it's, you make like smiley kind of thing because it's round two legs, it's not a straight leg. And this is how you apply the color. You go like that. If you have jeans, you can put this color and then we put blue on top. Okay. You see that? Follow the contour of the outfit.
we're not going to put more on the top than much on the trees. So later, if you think you need more of the yellow back in there, you can put more of the yellow, all those colors. Now, my girl has black hair, brownish, so I gotta put some black. The way you do hair for a blonde, you put brown and then yellow. So this is windy, so the wind is flowing this way. If you have a ponytail, you just have the little a little bit of the color in there. So this is it. My hair is blowing that way. So what I'm going, if it's blonde and short, you decide how long your hair is going to be. If you're blonde, then you use brown and then you put the yellow on top. For the boy, you just go with the dark color on, on the hair and do the hat. Later you put the lights. There will be a lot of homework for this one later to put more of the richness of those leaves going around and flying around and all that. Um, Judy, are you blonde or brunette or what are you going to be, your girl? For me? Yeah. Uh, brunette. Okay, and um, Judy? Yes. Br me? Yeah. Brun uh, brunette. Okay. Any blondes in there? Yeah. No, I'm brunette too. Oh, okay. I think because I had the black in my hand. Yeah. Wendy, did you catch up with yours? I haven't seen yours. Yes, I caught up. Oh, good. Can we see or, or later? Oh, wow. And I love the top. Cool. Nice. The outfit is cool. Okay. Okay, so everybody uh, turn off the microphone and we're going to do the next color is a nice, um, we need a different green now. We need an olive green or any other green that you don't have in there. So I'm going to use the Hooker's green, which is a darker green. If you only have one kind, you use that one without the white. So this is the Hooker's green color I'm using. The same brush. And ladies, I'm really excited for the next week class. I will send you the, the uh, painting. Okay. We were debating for a while about it. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Grab the green. This one, you're going to detail more the grass. So now you just go and put little guys. If it's competing with your black, put a little bit of white on it to make sure there's some kind of a different color. So it's not the same. This one is the grass, basically going like that. Okay, you can have some grassy stuff going up. As you go farther, put more water on your color so it's not so dark. And it's the same color, but a little bit more watery diffuse. So you just put a little bit of the color here. And I'm putting it up here. It goes up because the grass grows up. 
and it goes into my path once in a while. Let me go here. You see that? It's more groomed. And I put a little bit of taller grass in here. As in the background, it gets lighter and lighter. Just by putting white on the same color. The same with the other guy on the other side. The grass is taller here. I'm putting grass going up. And then little guys going down. Touching the girl, it's okay. At the end, we'll put all those cute leaves flying around her. This is grass, it's not flying. It's on the floor. Just making sure. In between the nice little colors, I really like the colors that I have on my left a lot. Here it is, look at the left. It has those aquas. Yeah. That cute or what? Uh, Stephanie, your purse is green. I don't remember what color it is. So that's the moment you, you can later, uh, my, yeah. Later you can draw the purse, whichever way the colors of her purse is. Okay, got it. Yeah. So that green really helped the painting a lot. But our trees is still a little bit weak. So that greens go on the bottom of the tree here and here. Before it dries up on your plate, you grab some of that green. Everybody looks at me, please. Look at me, please. You see green here and green there on a smiley. Here and there here and there, growing around. So basically the, the start of the branches kind of. Yes, yeah. And it's kind of the, the dark part of your painting, the, where the shadow is. And once in a while, one of them went into the girl here and there, one and two. On her clothes. Ding. Be special, don't make it too dark. On the bottom, there is a little bit more. Kind of tiny guys, tiny guys. Tiny guys. And I don't want to complicate too much the center of my painting. I like all these things grow the way they are, so I don't want to complicate that center. But if you need to, you can put more leaves flying around on her. We, we haven't put any on her trunk yet. We will at the end. Walk away from your painting a little bit, then you can see better and then you get closer, like three feet away from it. Then you see, oh, I need a little more of that green here, for example. Later you go with the yellow and you kind of put more, but when it's dry. Where is that with the green? We don't need any more green. Unfortunately, I have so much green on my container. I want to cry. Uh, this is when you really have to stop for a while and look at. Yeah, <laughs> walk away a little bit. And tomorrow, 
or this afternoon, you can put more and more stuff. Now we gotta finish your, your person. Yeah, so don't rush it because this is cool if you take your time putting back the aquas here, the little blues, you know what I mean? Creating light behind. So. I am going to start looking for the shirt of this girl is white and blue. For you, Julie, you're going to paint it white and then you do the stripes carefully later, you know? because you have a lot of stripes on that shirt. Yeah. Can I see the boy? Can I see how you did the pants? Nice. Yeah. So paint the whole thing white and, and that's what I'm going to do here. You can put a hue of lightly blue and some shadows under, you know, but in our case, we're going to find uh, white. We're going to give her a white shirt. I think um, Steph is going to do a black uh, top. Actually, I like what you have. I'm going to do the, that blue, that whatever color it is. Okay. So then go everybody and clean your water because at this point mine is green. Okay, so let's do the white first. And then we do the blue. So, white right here. All you have to do is Little white arm here going down. And then white here. Later you do all the blue uh, tricks to it. White on the shirt. Mine is getting greenish because I didn't clean my brush. I should have. Uh, white border on the shoulder. And go around. So you put the white in there and you have a white top, huh? The trick is with the blue before it dries up, light blue that I asked you before, you're going to put it in between here and you rub it down that way. I need to get more blue because it's so light you don't see it. I'm doing it when it's wet because it looks better when it's wet. So I did, I went in the center, everybody looks at me, center of the arm, and then I just rub, 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 rub. That's it, center. Can you say that last part again? I'm sorry, I got up for a minute. So I went in the center of the arm and here. I left that white aura around okay. it. I just went like this. Yeah. For the, ever, for the people that still have the blue, put a little bit of light halfway on that blue on the tip of your umbrella. You put a tiny bit of that blue on top. Okay.
Later, you can make your umbrella darker, lighter, whatever. Another thing you do with the light blue, you divide this, you see this part here? You divide this in two. Oops, I don't know why I had red on there, but whatever. Now you can see it better. Wherever I have red, just a little bit of the light blue here. See that? That goes in light blue. I didn't clean my brush, so that's what happens. Which I don't mind. Then I go back to my cobalt blue that I have on the floor or the ultramarine blue and we're going to do these shadows on the shirt. So whatever blue that was on the floor or whatever blue you want on the shirt, we're going to use it on the floor again. Everybody looks at me. This is how I do shadows. Under the shirt, under the hair. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit dark so you can see it. I go here, then it has a plea, another plea, and then just going down half the arm, the border, going up, and touching the border slightly because it should be dark in there. Under the hair, the hair we need to put brown, but it's dark because the umbrella is covering that area. A little bit of dark here because the umbrella gives you that shadow. Okay, so I'm going to, and here you see this arm here needs a little bit of definition with blue. I'm going to put it really close so you can copy that guy. Right there. Gracias. So that, what color is that in her lower left? It's the same uh, as the floor. It was a blue. Mine was cobalt blue, but some of you use ultramarine. It almost looks like it. But because it is on wet white, it becomes that color. Oh, okay. It's kind of watered down. You see, painting people is not that hard. The face is in the hands, but if, if you can hide them in wearing clothes. The shoes are, if you're wearing shoes, um, they're that color, that dark cobalt blue. And then they will have a light white stripe uh, for you, Julie. Yeah. I didn't define the bottom. You see it's kind of undefined a little bit. I'm going to put some leaves in there. So it's not so strong like stick I need to do her hair brown so I'm looking for a brown um, it can be oops, sorry I need to know my phone what is it Okay, so that cobalt blue is going to go on the floor. You see this smiley, guys? If you have jeans, you put it on the jeans on top of that. If you don't, you leave them black. So the cobalt blue 
Everybody will send me now, please. Color blue. These shadows continue that way. So this is my shadow. Then I just go a little bit here. And the shadow continues here. Just touching, not touching, little. The other one goes here. So Leslie, you gotta do that. Crossing, crossing in between the legs, making sure. And you can go on top of the legs, doesn't matter. If you're wearing jeans, you just go with a wash of blue, like that. And like that, a wash of blue, and you have jeans, okay? Look at that, easy jeans. Cobalt blue on the floor. So you see all that yellow that we put before? It looks like the sun is peeking through. That's why I did that. Yeah. And I'm going to look for the brown for the hair. Um. Burnt umber. See if I find it. Oh, here it is. So you can put a slightly a bit of bit of yellow if you want her not so dark. Burnt umber for the hair. I'm going to put a little bit of it. Look everybody at my hair, please. Just where the shadow is. And then I I put a little bit of water on it and I do a wash and it looks like a highlight. My point is in time. Yeah. I found my See that? Why don't you go look in the bathroom? Though? I have a highlight. Um, I think somebody's microphone is on. Okay. So the hair, I left some white in between and when I put the brown wash, it looks like a highlight. Yeah. You can make it as dark as you want, as light as you want. Ponytail. That's it for the girl for now. Just put a little bit dark here. You can put more colors on your umbrella, on whatever you want to do later, but that's it for her now. We're going to go back to the yellows and put some leaves around her and some colors. So basically, we go back to the yellow. And here it is. We start putting leaves on her cat on her. Right there, one, right there, there, another one. On her hair, one, two, three. You see, they're crossing around. And once you put this object, uh, you do that, Leslie. You put a little bit of leaves going. Because that's what makes the painting more than sitting there on her pants. See, there's some cute ones going down, going down, going down, flying around. What one color? Person. Just the yellow? Yeah, yellow, just yellow. If it's not showing well, you put a tiny bit of white on it. Some yellow leaf here, another one there, a few on the back. It's important that they cross. And you can go back to your part of your painting where you want to put more yellow. Let's say, oh, it would be nice if I put more on the ground here that I don't have as much. You know, here will be cute. Blending it. If you lost something, you know, that it was supposed to be on the top, you can put it back in there. Look how pretty that looks. You put it back in there and it looks really nice. We're done with the, the subject. We just have to embellish it now. 
going to put a few here on the floor. A few on the floor of the light. Getting really close to you. Look at that. So a, prof a professional will leave it alone and come back unless it's inspired and go back and repaint the whole thing again. Can you believe it? That's why it's so rich and it looks finished because he has layers and layers of color. Let me see if there is any white on this painting. Uh, on the floor, no. It has a lot of that lavender on the floor. Uh, right here will be cute to put some lavender back. So, I do lavender again. Because the colors are so pure, make sure the water is pure and the brush is clean out of any color. The lavender has a tiny bit of white, so we can see it. So right here has little happy lavender dyes that in between of the light part. That really makes it look really dynamic and finish. If you go on top, everybody looks at me. Put some of that lavender back on the floor like that. Into the green. On the floor. Your background should be yellow if you don't have a person and the trees. Can you show the lavender that you just did? Yeah. It looks like a gray, mauve color. You see here, I put it all over here and here. On but the are light you blue. On top of the light blue and going up into the hill. But really watered down. Yeah. Or it can be strong. You, you kind of have to put your painting like three feet away and then you look like, oh, I can put that color here. Like I thought, oh, maybe lavender here will be cute. So it's not so green. Uh, Leslie, do that. Put some lavender on the back of your bush here. Okay, that makes it look farther. If you put some lavender here and there on the back. So, strokes color, homework, look at a Van Gogh painting, please. <laughs> and look at the, how he did it and go back to this painting and go for it. Uh, Graciela? Yes? How do, you make the, how do you make the umbrella more dynamic looking? So it needs dark. Let me see yours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Judy, I, I outlined mine. Oh, I love the boots, Judy. So cool. Oh, thanks. Uh-huh. So, yeah, you need a 3D color on the, in it. You see that it has a lot of um, blushiness around. So, so you put shades of colors in between. But of the two colors, don't, don't go with any other color. This one has a shadow here and then it lighter on the top because of the dark to light. So, like for example, you go in between. Are you using a darker color? Yeah. And then you can go here and create and use white if you want. White will make it bright. Any questions, anybody? I want, I want to start seeing the models. I want to see people's paintings, please. Graciela, I need to figure out what to do with the person for his shirt and the hand. Send me a photo because it's so tiny. I cannot see it. Can, do you know my um, 
my text? Yes, I can do that. Text it right now. And also I see your floor is a little bit too dark on the back. You need to, to lighten it up a little bit so it looks far away. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So if you can send it as soon as you can, that would be nice. Leslie, how are you? Oh, it's ready for the guys. Yay. Good. Send me a photo too. To glue the guys has to be 24 hours dry. But the water has to be completely out of there. Glue stick works. Or if you feel like Picasso, you can paint the guys. Uh, trace them. Trace them with us. There is a, a carbon paper. When we used to use typewriters, you can trace it or with tracing paper for sewing, you know, you can trace the figures and paint it, but there's a pain on the neck maybe. So it's best to, to take a mat a uh, color copy or a photograph, matte, not glossy. Wendy, can I see yours? Is it a poncho? Love it. And that's you for sure. <laughs> yeah, love the hair. Looking good. How are you doing, Steph? Any questions? Oh, that's amazing. She's going to love it. Oh, the green and all that. Looking good. So let me see, Julie. If you send me one, I just heard a beep. So the hands. Yeah. Oh, the sky looks great. Um, this is a little bit too harsh. So I want you to, I'll show you. I'm getting yellow. If your borders are harsh on the corners, you bring the yellow back and mute a little bit the tip and going in a round circle. A little bit. It shouldn't be a triangle. Triangle is more flat here Top, top, top. You can use different greens if you want. The, I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to do, Julie. Here, going down a little bit. Tone down that green with the yellow. And it gives you a different green. Okay? Yeah. You see, I toned down already this. It was too much. I just went with the yellow on top of my green. Made it flat, straight going like that. Okay, uh, now the hand. You have to put more pink on the kid is too pale. So, and go all the way to the border with it. So I will do um, a lighter, a darker of that pink. More mauve because he's, I know he's white, but he needs a shadow. So go around the borders. I think you haven't touched the borders of the hand. No. And so go around it with the pink on top of that. Also on underneath of his neck. Um, there's a stripe going down on the cheek. I don't know why. That has to go. Okay. And the hat gives you a shadow halfway on your face. So you need to put a shadow under the hat. Okay. Of a you, very light color. When you say pink on the hands. Yeah, so, so let me see if I can draw it in there. And if you have any questions, send me the photo. I have to save it and then paint on top. 
I'm so excited. This girl with the umbrella looks like my sister, so she's going to get it for her birthday. <laughs> Can I see her? Can I see her? Well, I mean, it still needs to be fixed and better, but it really looks like my sister, which is odd. I love the boots. Very cool. Beauty. Yeah. Oh, love thanks. It. Yeah. Don, uh, yesterday or uh, when was it the class before? Somebody had a glass of wine. He got too excited and then too much. So painting and 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 drinking a glass of wine can can be hard, not good. Okay, so mark up. Okay, I'm working on on uh, Julie's paint, but we're basically done. So send me photos if you need help, okay? It's, it, can everyone show theirs, Graciela? Would yeah, you mind? Yeah, start showing. Start showing, please. Go for it. Uh, Steph, start showing yours. Um, and you need to talk, uh, Steph. Oh, wow, nice. And Steph, can you talk? Hi. Yeah, here's mine. Look Beautiful. Look at the or the, the white. Um, wow. Good idea. Renee, oh my God. Wow. I don't know. Wow. Yes. Fantastic. I outlined it. Wow. I have, my trees look like um, cactus. Beautiful. <laughs> she's got That's really cool. long hair. Listen, put a lot of polka dots in there, like dots everywhere. Okay, okay wow. dots. Dots. Okay. Leslie, where's yours? Oh my God, they're all so different. I know they're going. Who painted? Who painted the little kids? Who who did that one? She's who going to do that later with a copy, my a with a um how do you call that? A pay, a photograph. She's going to do a mixed medium. Wendy, where's yours? Look, oh my gosh, wow, amazing. Let me see, Wendy, I don't see yours yet. One second. That's so awesome. That's, that's her with your beautiful long hair. Okay, so. Um, Wait, and is it Pierce? Julie, Pierce is my little Julie. boy. Oh. Sorry. Oh my goodness, wow. Or what? The baby's coming. Okay, so I could not do it because my finger is too fat for the fine thing, but I'm sending you the idea, okay? The, the shadow underneath the hat is not as thick, it's thinner, okay? Coming. This one was really fun, Graciela, thank you. Oh, I am enjoying it so much. Um, Hi, Graciela, it was fantastic. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Julie's coming your way. Okay. Uh -huh. You need roundness on the cheeks and on the hands with the pinks, two kinds of pinks, okay? Okay. Uh, where is the photo? Yes, it just came through. So the shadow underneath the hat is really important. Okay. It's just a wash, thinner one. Okay. And then you see the hands is just two plump pink yeah. shapes. You don't need to draw fingers, nothing, because you see this is just a very sketchy painting. Yeah. And then you you can leave the, the, the shirt white mm -hmm. or put the stripes. Okay. Graciela, you said a lot of dots everywhere. Um, yes. Yeah. So be put all these leaves going around the girl. Just more I leaves. For, I forgot to say that some of those fall leaves go around, and and be richer with the foliage. Um, uh, did Just you send me a photo? Uh, no, I will. Okay. 
because I like the style of your cactus. <laughs> I'm welcome. I'm welcome. So, well, it's a little, I don't know. Um, maybe I can draw the, use sort of a brown or burnt sienna to draw the branches longer. Let's see. Because sometimes those little um, different looking strokes are what, uh, are what makes the painting so special. So I don't like to get rid of stuff that works. I also need to add the blue down below. I didn't do that yet. I forgot to put some of the burgundy leaves around her. Okay. I also outlined the umbrella, which probably, I don't know if I should have done that, but. You, you can go back and just put the color all the way to the border and it will be fine. Okay, I just sent it to you. And she's got really long hair. <laughs> Let's see that long hair. It's the hair we wish, huh? Yeah. yeah. I forgot to show everybody what we're painting next weekend, next Friday. It's really cool. It's a marina with, um, ooh, what's wrong with your trees? I love them. Really? Yeah. So cool. No, wait, don't get rid of the black edges of anything because that's your painting. Um, so maybe blue, I didn't do the blue stripes or whatever you have to do. blue around your trees and leave the tops the, that way because they're so cool. I love the floor. Don't touch the floor. Don't touch the girl. Don't touch the umbrella. Don't touch the yellow golden things. Just put more blue if you want um, on top of the bush, on top. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. So maybe blue here on top of it okay and a little more pink will be cool okay aqua did you use aqua no yes a little bit so on the aqua umbrella on the leaves oh that would be that would be cool okay. if you want it to go around it but i love the darkness of it i love the dark umbrella the dark pants that's that's what makes it different so okay yeah and I really like the highlights. Are you a hairdresser? <laughs> <laughs> she did a great job with highlights. So I wish you could see them. Look, I don't know if you can see the highlights, but they're really cool. Oh, the highlights in her hair? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, I love the umbrella. Please don't touch it. I won't. OK. OK, everybody did a Thank great you. job. Leslie, show me the uh, later and send me the monkeys. Okay, can't wait to see them. Ciao. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Ciao, ciao. Oh, Wendy, do you have anything? Oh, I love it. That's so you. <laughs> oh, that's great. Isn't that great? Yeah. Okay, bye, bye, everybody. Send me photos so I can share with people. Bye. Have a good weekend. You too. Like how they probably black dark type of us.